So I was inspired and I decided I'll give you guys a video of the novels I'm working on. My main project is Beautiful Mandis. And the synopsis is there are these two girls who used to be tigers. Shay, Abigail, and Aurelia. And the I Ned stopped a fight. They were fighting each other. God turned them into fairy twins, and later they become cherub archangel fairies. And their mother, who is also a tiger, became a woman named Hannah Aliria. And I spell Aliria A E L E R I A, something like that. And Hannah Aliria goes to Earth and Heaven and wanders around being a superhero. And so she meets Amy, who is jumping off of the Grand Canyon in the Heaven version of the Grand Canyon. Because she and her brother Abigail kind of got there in an accident. And it's not really an accident, it's destiny. And Hannah Little levitates down, grabs Amy, and levitates all the way down and catches her. Then they hike back up to her brother Abigail. And I go through Shea Abigail, Aurelia, and her Shea Abigail, Gail, and Aurelia are Cherub Archangel fairies. Their friend Rose is autistic, and she's an elf, and she again becomes a chair of Archangel Elf. And her parents are Sadie and Aiden, and... No, no, no. I haven't decided. I messed up. My bad. But, yeah. Amy and Abigail's parents are unnamed as it, as it is now. But Rose's parents... And Rose is the elf kid, the Washington Cherub elf kid, and she's a tissue, and her parents are Sadie and Aiden, and Rose has an older sister, Elena, who was around 15 or 16, and she grew to be around 13, 12 or 13, and she has this sad, like, yakko voice, and she plays instruments, mostly flute and guitar, and sing songs, and Rose and Elena wander through the woods together, and Rose keeps having this dream about this boy named Liam, and she's wondering if he's real, and I haven't really decided if he's real, I'm kind of saying, yeah, he's real, and Rose met him a couple of times, but not that many, and the main plot is Amy's coming of age, coming to Christ's story, how, how she becomes a better person. Now, Amy and Abigail are brother and sister, but they're in love. And Abigail breaks up with her, and and then they get back together. And then Abigail's like, you changed so much, Amy. Amy's becoming a Christian. Before a Abigail, Abigail is pagan, Amy's Christian. And Amy is like, Abigail's like, well, I don't feel right hanging around you because... You don't agree with me, and I had this friend Jeff, and he tried to push paganism on him, and Abdiel's kind of doing that to his sister, and Amy's like, no, I thought you were my soulmate, but I kind of have to split. And Amy always has these journeys on the weekend where she drives to New Zealand and, and jumps into this natural pool, and she stands and walks and lets the water, and lets the water fall baptize her, and she's thinking, well, Abigail's trying to force me to be pagan, but I want to be Christian. At least, I think I'd be happier if I was Christian. And she tries, and she goes to church every Sunday, usually a different one. She just explores and finds one. And she would stay in heaven if she didn't have the younger siblings, Jess and Jess. The one's male, and one's female. Jess is spelled J-E-S, and the brother's name is J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. And she meets this... Old fairy Alana, who's 80, but really 200 or 300. And when they meet, Alana decides she wants to go younger. And she gives Amy her journal. And Amy dreams about Alana all the time. And so, so Amy's friends are in heaven. Alana, Hannah, Lilia, and Rose's sister, Elena. She's met, those are her three main friends. Besides the friends, when she lived in Florida and moved to Alabama. but. They don't really get her anymore, and the only reason she isn't going, stay, going to have and staying there, because she wants to protect her little tw twin sibling, little siblings who are around seven or eight, 
And when she was a little kid, her father raped her. And this is all fiction, but she kind of was trying to push it out of her head and write it in a journal. Because Alana suggested that she should write in a journal. And that's all I have so far. Um, for the rest of this novel, I think I'm halfway through. I'm, I'm on page 346. And I think the rest of it is Alana's journal, Amy becoming more Christian, becoming an archangel, Abigail finding someone else. Jess and Joss are really minor flat characters. Some characters can be flat. You can let some characters be flat. That's the, the main synopsis. Amy is a suicidal girl who kind of loves the water and loves swimming deep under the water. And she loves swimming. She loves exploring and wandering around. And... Abdiel is this stubborn pagan guy, like Jeff, and they just wander around, and Hannah earlier wants to be like Batwoman or Superwoman and save lives, and she gets in between a, a fight where a man is trying to murder someone, and she kind of saves that person. And the person she saves isn't really going to be a character in the novel. And... My, my real goal about this novel, Beautiful Madness, is to make it poetic and lyrical and make it be a meditation on madness and brilliance and the fine line in between depression, being haunted by demons, um, in the front of your mind and in the back of your mind, anxiety, how madness can be something that is so soulfully beautiful. So the other one I'm working on is called Strays, and it's about... This fairy girl Rose, no, no, not Rose, that's beautiful madness. This fairy girl, Janine, spelled G-E-N-I-N-E, -E. she's wandering around the woods, there's a wolf that's following her, but the wolf chooses not to eat unless he finds, like, maybe a rabbit and prays that the rabbit will be risen from the dead. And the wolf was not seen again in the story. Janine is really competitive, and she loves figure skating, and her coach Kane tells her that Earth will pollute her. She wanders around in the wilderness all the time, and she finds a marsh, and she has a lot of dreams about the wilderness too, and when she's skating, she thinks about the music in the woods, and she, she just does that, and it's okay. And when she skates, she meets this girl, Emily. And Emily's like, do you want to watch the, the advanced kids skate? And um, Janine can't because she has to go to her gym and has to license and her kung fu license. So Janine does figure skating, which is her main thing. A little bit of gymnastics, a little bit of kung fu. Because she wants to go to, go to Earth and go to the Olympics. And in this novel, I'm inserting scripture in it which is under italics. If you see it on Scribble File, I'm, they're in quotation marks, but not in italics, because I'm not a uh, premium member, because that costs money, and I don't have much of that. And so I'm working on that. I have about 20 pages, and I'm kind of stuck on that one, and I'm also working on Hi, I Love You, that is just even, and it's about my twin, and it's about all of the thing. I remember about him after losing him. him. Him constantly surrounded by me, invisible, but not there really. There with me, but invisible. Anyways, yeah, that's where high love we learned to Steven. I imagine it being a contemporary literature slash romance novella or short story. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have to work on Beautiful Madness as it's my main project. The most well shifted, the, the most well knitted together. Strays, I love strays, I love the, I love the lyrical language I used crafting the woodlands. Well, I didn't. God crafted the woodlands. So yeah, but I love writing strays. I think I have to read through all of the, these works and decide where to go with it. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope it inspired you to make your own ideas. That's all for this writer. Rebecca out.